Thank you again for joining us as we conclude our look at the book of Romans. As Paul has brought these Jews and Gentiles who make up this church together and shown them that they need to be greeting each other and spending that time with each other and learning that their relationship with each other is not about being Jew, it's not about being Gentile, but it's about their common relationship in Christ. Because righteousness, faith, salvation is in Christ, not in being a Jew or not be not in being a Gentile. He has spent a lot of time in this final chapter giving names, telling people to greet each other, giving greetings to these people, thanking them for who they are and what they've done, and telling them to greet each other with a holy kiss and to salute each other, and that other churches are saluting them and giving them warm wishes. Let's pick up with verse 17 as he concludes this book of Romans. Now I urge you, brothers, keep your eye on those who cause dissensions and stumblings contrary to the teaching which you learned, and turn away from them. For such men are slaves, not of our Lord, but of their own stomach, and by their smooth and flattering speech they deceive the hearts of the unsuspecting. For the report of your obedience has reached all. Therefore I am rejoicing over you, but I want you to be wise in what is good and innocent and what is in what is evil. Wise in what is good and innocent in what is evil. And the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of our Lord Jesus will be with you. Timothy, my fellow weak worker, greets you, and so do Lucius and Jason and Sosipater, my kinsman. I, Tertius, who wrote this letter, greet you in the Lord. Gaius, host to me, and the whole church greets you. Erastus, the city treasure, greets you, and Cartus, the brother. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. Now to him who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery which has been kept for secret for long ages past, but now is manifest, and by the scriptures of the prophets, according to the commandment of the eternal God, has been made known to all the Gentiles leading to the obedience of faith. To the only wise God through Jesus Christ be glory forever. Amen. What a profound ending to a letter to a church. He reminds them, be careful about those who are going to try to divide, who are going to teach strange things. Be, be aware that there are people who are going to try to do that. They're not serving God. They're serving their stomachs. They're trying to get followers. They're trying to build themselves up. They're not concerned about the things of God. Know who they are. Be wise when it comes to what is good and about evil things. Be innocent. You don't need to know about the things that are wrong. Just know about things that are good. Some more greetings. We find out someone was a scribe for him, Tertius. And then he closes out with the same thing he's been saying through the whole book. Our relationship, our walk, our life is all about Christ and his righteousness and what God has done through him. That was true for them. That's true for us. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, again, I thank you for this day. Again, I thank you for the faith that we can have in Christ. I thank you for the righteousness that we have through faith in him. I thank you for that grace. Brother, help us to remember that our life is not about us. Our life is not about our ability to do good. Our life is not about this world but our life is about walking with Christ and the righteousness that is applied to our life through our faithful obedience to him. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. I look forward to being with you again in the near future. I'm going to take about a week break or so and come back to you uh, sometime around the uh, 11th or so of September as we I take it back the 9th of September as we look at the book of Job. So we're looking at Job and lessons we can learn with Job as we look at the university of life. Maybe you call that the school of hard knocks. Until the next time we're together, my prayer is as always, that God will bless your day. <music>